This is a 1962 RCA Victor console stereo model IVF 107A. I just picked it up from an estate sale this weekend. And this is how it looks after being taken care of for 50 years. That's the pilot light there. And the blonde cabinet really hasn't yellowed too bad at all. It pretty much sat dormant in the upstairs of a vacant apartment building since 1987. Here's the control panel. You can see this is kind of an economy unit, but it's nice because it's very small. We got the RCA Victor turntable. And here's the receiver. And you can see this has multiplexed FM, which in more common terms, that means it's FM stereo. Still has the original 45 holder. And this is actually a nice design here, this mechanism that keeps the door open. It's a nice spring-loaded piece here. There's a shot at the back. And as you can see, there's no back cover, and that is complete and original. These did not have back covers when they were new. And there's proof of that because you can't see any screw holes or any type of hardware that would have locked the back cover on. This was all exposed. Because basically they were intended to just go up against the wall. the layout diagram, all tube of course. Here's the amplifier. We got six BQ5 outputs and they're driving these round 8 inch speakers. And a 5Y3 rectifier there too, didn't we? Yes we do. And this here is the FM multiplex chassis, which is the stereo decoder. You can see all the dust, how it's settled here. Again, this is exactly how this survived after 50 years. Nothing has been touched yet other than me bringing it in the house here. Get the tube layout diagram. Here's a 6213 date code. The 13th week is when that tube was built. And all the other tubes have 62 date codes too. So that's a quick easy way to, to get an idea of what year something was made. Got this little power transformer here. Get the RCA logo on it. Here's the radio chassis. Get my flashlight on there. Maybe we could see it a little better. It's all full of tubes as well.
What's this? Auxiliary speaker connection. So let's turn it on and see what it does. There's the record compartment light, which also serves as the front pilot light. Got it set for radio. Should be going by now. In a cage oh. about 100 yards from me. But well, basically, it's mostly pitchers and catchers that are going through their drills of covering first base and stuff like that. And by the way, they're doing it. Chicago 720 WGN. Police say it happened February 9th when a man approached the girl on foot in the 6000 block of South Lawndale Avenue and grabbed her by the arm. That girl was able to run away and report the incident to her parents. Police say the man is described as a whiter Hispanic, about 40 to 50 years old, 5'8", 170 pounds, with whiter grayish hair. He even spoke Spanish to the girl and also wore a long, dark raincoat. If you've seen this happen 24 hours a day, call the WBBM News Temp Hotline 1 800 7844 News or via Twitter at WBBM News Radio. WBBM News Time 308. Time now for WBBM Traffic and Weather Together on the 8th, sponsored by the Grossinger Auto Group. The roadway is in David Morrison. Outbound Eden, still 22 minutes out to Lake Cook Road. Your inbound trip's now 25. Pretty backed up from Foster down to the Kennedy. The Kennedy outbound, 15 to the Junction 8 Express, about 28 out to the airport. Heavy, uh, essentially, from Irving Park, most of the way out to Sayre. You do still have a lingering delay from downtown out to North Avenue. Your inbound trip, still heavy from Central all the way to downtown. 38 from O'Hare, 25 from Montrose into the Circle. The Eisenhower outbound, word of a crash right around Austin. It's blocking off the left lane. That's in the middle of a pretty sizable delay from Racine all the way out to Des Plaines Avenue, 35 to Wolf Road, 48 to Thorndale. In Mount Silla Minor, back up approaching the circle. It's 31 from Thorndale, 18 from Mannheim. Stevenson outbound heavy from the Ryan out to Cicero. It's about a 22-minute trip to Harlem, 32 to the Tri-State. Inbound still fine at 24 minutes. Dan Ryan outbound, word of a disabled vehicle at 18. Got the volume set a little higher than it should be. Out to 95th Street. Inbound's 22. Still so we might have an issue with the RF amplifier. On the radio because it doesn't really have too good a selectivity. 22 minutes. Uh, actually, just into the traffic center, we've got word that inbound in the express lanes that car fire at Garfield currently has the entire express lanes shut down. Base control works good. We'll keep you posted on that. No delays on the Skyway, I-57, or the Bishop Ford. Lakeshore Drive southbound, heavy Michigan to Chicago. Trouble works okay. Get traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes on News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM WBBM. Thank you, Willis. says mostly sunny for the rest of the afternoon. Clear tonight low 22 in some western suburbs 28 degrees light front breezy and mild tomorrow sunshine giving way to clouds and the high 46 45 wednesday but a chance of some rain mixed with the snow in the morning hours 37 at O'Hare right now it's a 35 at midway 38 degrees along the lake front in aurora sunny and 40 degrees again mostly sunny for the rest of the afternoon as we head toward the evening hours temperatures steady Still to come on WBBM, police think alcohol may have played a part in an accident that kills a man at DeKal. WBBM News Time 311. So, what's good here? Your response? Yeah, we're only picking up strong well, stations. Got it across on the 8th second. So we'll have to start off with some basic checks like tubes. Always start simple. Let's see how FM works. You could barely hear anything on FM. See if it's a contact issue first. No. Even in multiplex mode. And yeah, we're not getting anything at all. Very, very weak. Well, so it's going to need a little bit of service. That's not the end of the world. In fact, it's when they need work is what makes them fun to own. If everything always worked, then it's kind of boring, right? So let's go into stereo mode. Now I'll shut the radio off. 
see if the phonograph works. I can hear the motor hum like it wants to go. But it's not going. See if the cut cartridge works. Well, that's good. You can tell we got both left and right channels. In fact, this thing's going to sound a lot better than I expected. You could really hear that bass come out of the speakers by doing that. I'm going to shut that off. That's no big deal. Probably just got some dried grease on the motor. Take the motor apart and re-lubricate it and that should bring that back to life. Let's shut it off. Don't want to keep it on too long if it's got some problems. By 62 these should no longer have wax caps, but I could be wrong. So we most likely just got a simple tube type issue. Or we might just have an intermittent tube connection in a socket. So either way, it's in pretty nice shape, and it's got a lot of potential. And there you have it, for the 62 RCA console stereo.